there is a place on this planet so strange that the creatures that exist in it are unsure exactly what they are. For this place can be saltier than the saltiest ocean on Earth and can host water as fresh as a mountain spring. This is a place where the mighty ocean meets the courageous river. This is an estuary, and the hardest thing about living here is with the constant push of the sea and flow of the river, the salt levels are always changing. For a pelican, an estuary means a landing strip. With a canteen, where one can rustle up some food. An estuary plays host to many varieties of fish, like this raccoon butterfish and this threadfin butterfish. This is one guy that you don't need to rustle up. The stonefish, aptly named due to its looks and swimming technique, is the most poisonous fish around. And just a bit of its deadly venom can be fatal for anything, including humans, coming into contact with its spiky dorsal spines. It's also very handy in the camouflage department and uses this to catch its prey. But it's not a fish you want to cuddle up to. Estuaries are the nurseries of the marine environment and many species like this colorful devil firefish use these protected and nutritious habitats to breed. The firefish uses the nutritious waters as their hunting ground. It sneaks up to its victim of choice and using its pectoral fins employs a death-like stranglehold. Where the river meets the sea, a great mixing of life is found. Plants and creatures of all types must survive the fluctuating moods from terrestrial freshness to extreme salinity. Crabs are less mobile than fish and to survive must be able to handle the declining concentrations of salt. Filter feeders like this strange pencil bait dig the food found in estuaries and withstand the extreme difference in salt levels to dig in. Crabs have adapted well to this environment but are a cause for concern when they attach themselves to the pencil bait softer bits, which is vulnerable to passing snackers. The pencil bait has developed some weak points in its siphon and rather than risk the full attention of a passerby, can voluntarily release part of his equipment and hopefully avert any further interest. Avoiding the attentions of the above-surface seafood lovers, this sand prawn is preparing for a rather large family, as can be seen by the thousands of eggs on her body. Sand prawns are master burrowers, and once in their holes, use them like giant filters with which to gather food. They pump water through the burrow and then using hairy legs and mouth parts, they filter out the edible titbits and they remain relatively safe from surface perils. These fiddler crabs are all waving in unison, a technique used to intimidate would-be predators like this crab-loving wimbrel. Might be scary to some, but not this seasoned hunter. As the interplay between prey and predator continues, so does the interaction of salt ebbs and fresh flows. <laughs>